Hello and welcome to section 2.4. In this section, we discuss one-sided limits. When you take a limit ordinarily, when you let x approach c, x could approach c from either direction. That's not necessarily appropriate. So there are situations where x should always be greater than c, or where x should always be less than c. And in those situations, it doesn't make sense to ask what happens as x approaches c from both directions. If x is always greater than c, it can only approach c from, from above or from the right, from the greater side, as it were. And if x is always less than c, then again, x can only really approach c from below. In that situation, we use one-sided limits.